I rise in support um, of uh, SB 86. Uh, and I want to thank, I also want to thank the three committee chairs um, who worked so hard on this. Uh, uh, Senator Leva, Senator uh, Laird, um, and um, Skinner. Skinner, Senator Skinner, of course. Thank you very much for the assist. Um, I, I want to try to make a point quickly. Um, we have to remember that this action today is, is really divided in two almost separate pieces. Two billion dollars to urge the reopening of our schools. And I think this bill does strike a good balance between local control and legislative guidance. Uh, many of us have served on school boards. I think we need to respect the elected officials who serve on those boards. And I was pleased yesterday to see a letter from the California School Boards Association urging passage of the bill uh, despite, despite some concerns. Those elected officials have a history of working out collective bargaining issues. Uh, those districts are not one size fits all. Some of them are entirely high school districts. Some of them are unified districts. Some of them are elementary school districts. They'll have to approach reopening differently. All of them have hired and vetted and appointed superintendents that they have confidence in. Um, we, I think we need to respect that and I think the good work of uh, this legislature and those chairs has respected that local control. But what, if there was nothing else to cause us to support this bill, it would really be the other part of this bill, the 4.6 billion uh, that will go to, uh, that will go to uh, accelerated um, learning through tutoring, community learning hubs, and I want to emphasize social emotional support. One thing we've learned in our history as a country is that separate is always unequal. And I want to hearken back to the comments of my colleague from Los Angeles, Senator DeRazzo. What we have learned from this pandemic and caused by the pandemic, not caused by the legislature, not caused by our school boards, what we have learned is the digital divide is very real. Uh, as my colleague from San Francisco said a little bit earlier, there's a public-private divide that is very real. There is an affluence and poverty divide that is very real. There is a racial and ethnic divide that is very real. And what we also learned from Thurgood Marshall is that the consequence of that divide is social, psychological, and behavioral impact on the students who suffer those consequences. So I think the $4.6 billion is the most important reason that we support this bill. And I would predict that it won't be the last investment we need to make uh, to invest on the recovery of the students in the state of California. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President.